Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. The gigantic news, both literally and figuratively, is that uh, Saints offensive tackle Ryan Ramchick is now the highest paid right tackle in the NFL. You might recall back in 1991, maybe you don't, but Rallies had a commercial with a young child actor, Seth Green, at the time, who was working the drive through and he kept saying this. Ching. Over and over again. They actually brought Seth Green onto the field for a Saints game that year to lead the Ching. Cha Ching chant. Well, we can bring back the Cha Ching chant. Cha Ching. Because Ryan Ramchick is going Ching Ching all, ching. all, all, all through town. Are you kidding me? Uh, Ryan Ramchick and the New Orleans Saints have agreed to a five year extension worth 90. Six million dollars, 60 million of which guaranteed this makes Ryan Ramchick the highest paid right tackle in the NFL. Ching. The 19.2 million dollar per year average bada bing. Sur is that a bada bing? Surpasses. Lane Johnson's deal that he got with the Eagles back in 2019, which was a measly $18 million per year. Not a cha-ching. That would be a bada-bing, potentially. Um, I'm pumped for Ryan Ramchick. This is awesome news for a lot of reasons. Um, Ryan Ramchick is actually proof that you don't nail them all. Oh, the Saints nailed it with the pick. Sort of. My draft take in 2017 when the Saints picked Ryan Ramchick was, why the hell are you using your second first round pick on an offensive lineman? If you remember, that was the pick they got after they traded Brandon Cooks, a former first round pick. So they acquired the last pick in round one, but you had Teron Armstead and you had Zach Streif, and they used that pick to draft another lineman. The guy that wasn't going to play right away when they desperately needed defense. Do you remember what happened? Zach Streif got injured. His career was over. Ramchick started every game of his rookie season. And in four years, he has started every game but one. He missed one game in year two. Do you remember the other little draft night twist? The Saints were on the phone with Reuben Foster. Do you remember this? The Saints were going to pick Reuben Foster. John Lynch calls Reuben Foster. He's like, man, coach, I, I'm not going to be there to start around two, man. The Saints are going to pick me here at 32. And he said, uh-uh, we just drafted you. The Niners moved ahead of the Saints to take Reuben Foster, which is why the Saints ended up with Ryan Ramchick, because the Saints were going Foster right there. So, thank you, John Lynch. There's a bottle of wine in the mail for you and a Christmas card. If you don't recall, Reuben Foster played just two years in the NFL, 16 total games in his career. Ramchick has played now in all but one game over four seasons. Uh, this is phenomenal news for the Saints. It's in no way unexpected. We we sort of knew this was coming. I think many also expect that Marcus Williams' extension is going to come at some point this offseason. Had Marshawn Lattimore not run afoul of the law, he likely would have gotten his extension this offseason as well. That might be a little bit on the back burner now as we wait and see. But you lock up the NFL's premier right tackle for the next five years. So you have Ramchick now under contract until he's 32 years old, at which point, provided he stays healthy, which we all hope he will and have every reason to believe he will because he has been super durable here in the early part of his career, he'll sign another contract, a third contract, and a second major contract. So great for him entering his prime to be playing at this level to get this deal. It's also significant because this solidifies your offensive line 
with a new starting quarterback. Obviously, you want your pillars. You want your all-pro tackles in place. And the Saints now have that with Teron Armstead at left tackle and obviously Ryan Ramchick at right tackle, protecting whoever might be behind the two of them, most likely, of course, Jameis Winston. As I mentioned, Ramchick has been durable, missing just one game in his NFL career. And maybe most importantly right now anyway, is that this is going to free up cap space for the Saints to do what we have all been waiting for them to do. And maybe you're saying, how in the world can this free up cap space when you sign a guy to a $96 million contract with $60 million of it guaranteed? Well, that's where Kai Hartley and his crew come into play, and he's brilliant at massaging the cap, and we just know that right now to be fact because we've seen him do it so many times. But I'm oversimplifying it. You tear up the old deal. You sign him to this new deal. Because you have $60 million in bonuses, you can take the salary or take the bonus money and spread it out, spread the salary out over future years. So whereas Ramchick was going to count $11 million against the cap this year, they can actually reduce that number by the way that this is structured. So the Saints went from having about 5 or $6 million in cap space to certainly more than that now for the rest of this offseason to try to build up this roster. And we know that there are glaring needs. The Saints need to add another cornerback. The Saints need to add another linebacker. Maybe this is the opportunity to go sign a cornerback that's going to be able to start opposite Marshawn Lattimore. Maybe this is the opportunity to bring Quan Alexander back into the fold or whoever that starting linebacker may be that's going to join this roster. Maybe an opportunity to add a veteran wide receiver. The bottom line is you needed to free up cap space and this is the way this is the way you were able to do it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.